Today I messed up by giving my husband a blow job. So this happened a few minutes ago. My husband woke up for work and went to the bathroom to pee, put on deodorant, brush teeth act. He did all of this naked and came into the living room where I was. He was being silly and started doing a wiggle dance obviously making his dick swing around too. I ran up to him with the intention of sucking his dick for a minute but immediately after I put it in my mouth a drop of pee hit my tongue and I almost threw up on him. He's lucky I didn't lol. Now I want to point out he always uses a wipe to wipe off his penis after peeing because we never know when I'll put his dick in my mouth but when he did his little dance it spun some out and yeah. So yeah that's how my morning started lol too long. Didn't read. This is actually just me adding more letters to this post, you don't have to read this. So apparently I didn't write enough in the text above for the moderators to approve it for lack of enough characters so I'm adding this in hopes of it being enough because even though it's insanely embarrassing to me it's too funny not to share. It is however too embarrassing to tell someone who knows me so here I am. Hopefully this is enough letters because I can't think of anything else to say except that I think these posts having to be 750 characters is dumb edit. Okay so wow to clear up a few things so I don't have to type it many times I'm being asked a lot what guy wipes his dick after peeing? Answer, a guy that gets random drive by dick sucks lol. The random play is just something we do, I also randomly pop out my tits and he will give them a quick suck. A little pee never killed anyone I know but it's not pleasant when it's in your mouth, unless that's your thing. Also I'm pregnant with a sensitive stomach which is probably why I gag but it's gross to me either way there's no reason to feel sorry for him. As soon as it happened I said nope, p. Between gags and he died laughing. After we composed ourselves he apologized whilst I was dying laughing. Sorry guys I don't have a TED talk to talk your mates to do the same to you. I uh, maybe whip it out and see what happens, just make sure it's been a while since you peed lol the mods would be proud of how many letters I've used now lol oh yeah also the mods said I had to put too long. Didn't read. With any added text, that's why it says that. And yes it is not shorter I wanted to make sure I pleased the mods. Today I messed up by misinterpreting the CEO's arm gesture in a job interview, and then locking arms with him as if we were best friends forever. Obligatory, this happened yesterday. The memory still makes me cringe. And cry. I had a job interview with the CEO, in person, despite COVID. I was super nervous, as per usual. Maybe even more than usual, because I really wanted this job. I tried to calm myself down but by the time the interviewer showed up I could literally feel my heartbeat in my throat. He, 50-ish slash male, walked down the stairs towards me, in his nice suit, but stopped halfway down. I figured the interview would take place upstairs, so I got up to meet him. And as I was walking up the stairs towards him, he put his arm up. And his elbow out. And my brain just sort of went error. I suppose it could have only meant two things. It could have meant, A, please take my arm, milady, so I can escort you to the room as if we're strolling down the promenade together, or, B, please give me an elbow bump, since we can't shake hands, which is really not an uncommon gesture at all in the Netherlands. So what did I do? Yes, I went with option A and I eagerly locked arms with this strange man that I'd never met before in my life, as if saying yes, good sir, let's go for that stroll. And then we just stood there. Arm in arm, halfway up the stairs, sheepishly staring at each other. I wanted the earth to swallow me whole. I just didn't know what to do next and I don't think he'd fully understood what had happened, so neither of us moved. When he'd finally gathered his senses, he said I a. Meant to give you an elbow bump? After which I quickly put as much distance between us as I could and mumbled right. Right, yes, that makes much more sense. Because it did, let's face it. And then we had the interview. Too long. Didn't read. I got so nervous that I misjudged the CEO's arm gesture during a job interview and locked arms with him as if we were best friends forever. Why am I like this? I don't know if I got the job, I'm not hopeful, but I'll keep you guys updated. Today I messed up by having long hair. So today I, 39-year-old female, began my usual morning routine by jumping into the shower. I started to do my shower routine, lather up, shave my armpits, think about all my personal problems and grievances and how I may solve them. As I'm rinsing off I notice that the drain isn't doing its prescribed job. 
mainly to drain away water. Our drain is unusual as it's a long, thin, rectangular drain covered by a removable tile. There is a very thin gap for the water to flow down underneath the tile to a hole below. The drain being blocked is a common occurrence which can be easily fixed by removing any built-up hair in the gap. I try this and remove some hair and other debris which kind of looks like the size, shape and consistency of my cat's vomit. I keep showering but the water is beginning to overflow onto the bathroom floor and there is no sign of any water being drained. I think crap better finish up and turn the water off. I lift off the tile and I call to hubby and say hung get me a chopstick so I can clear the drain he's like. What? A chopstick. Hang on. Insert I roll. From him. Anyway he come back with this long, thin, bendy orange stick-like device that has hooks running up and down its length. I'm like. Oh cool, a drain unblocker. He sticks it in the drain hole and kind of pulls it up and down. Then it becomes stuck and won't come out. He pulls it harder and what looks like a hairball starts to come out. To my absolute horror the hairball doesn't end and it becomes a 15 inches hair slug that is about 3 inches wide. You know when a magician pulls handkerchiefs out of a hat? This was my hubby pulling my hair slug out of the drain. I was mortified and revolted, but my hubby took it like a champ. Then all the water flowed happily down the drain. We shall never speak of the shower hair slug again. Too long. Didn't read. The drain in my shower was blocked by a massive hair slug.